Sunset Boulevard. The dark noir film about the tragedy of the Hollywood stars was a real hit in the film industry. It got a lot of different awards, including three Oscars, and all the credit goes to the first viewers. During the test screening, absolutely. Justice League In the beginning, the creators planned to make Justice League the sequel of Batman v Superman. Dawn of Justice but the superhero movie was a total mess at the box office. The production of Justice League was already underway and because The Shawshank Redemption It's one of the best films in history, according to IMDb, that not only has awards and nominations, but also the love of its viewers. But it could have gotten completely different reviews. As director Frank Darabont The New Mutants The news about the New Mutants appeared back in 2016. The scriptwriters promised the viewers a film with a unique, original voice. But the trailer that was released in 2017 showed us a completely different genre, a true horror that. Titanic The first cut of Titanic was five hours long. We think that very few people would dare to call the drama about the legendary cruise shop an interesting or less than intriguing, but five hours is still way too much. James Cameron listened to the Suicide Squad Something completely different happened to the Suicide Squad that a lot of fans were really looking forward to watching. Despite the fact that the early reviews of the film were positive, the project was sent back to the director. The Deadpool 2 The first viewers of Deadpool 2 also complained about the film, they liked the funny main character, but they didn't like that Cable and Domino didn't get a lot of screen time. The creators decided to please the audience and shot several. Pretty Woman This romantic comedy that made every girl hopeful that princes still exist somewhere, was actually meant as a serious social drama. The director initially planned to make Vivian a drug addict, who worked as a prostitute to earn money for. Ghostbusters movie fans initially thought that the reboot of the famous sci-fi comedy was a silly idea and was completely pointless. But Paul Feig wasn't worried about this since he had firmly decided to give the world a new version of Starship Troopers the sci-fi satire film that all of us remember from childhood was supposed to have been somewhat of a romantic film. Carmen and Johnny were supposed to break up during the military preparation and she would then start a romance with 